Crush those vermin. Okay. That's interesting. I'm playing a few uh, easy removal targets to see if he's got like uh, he would always use a mage here, right? Got business for me. So if he doesn't, this this might be okay to play. Uh, if I play this first, that I can't kill that off, even though this does seven. Oh no, that's a nine. I'm really dumb. I'm really, really dumb. I forgot about the roach. It's fine, we can buff it by one, right? Or we could just pass here. Gain card advantage. I like winning on even more though. Unless he has carryover. Well, no, even then I like winning on even. Uh, we didn't draw Letho plus Regis, so... Our win cons are engines, kind of. We've got a lot of them, though. Oh, our win con's like... Our win con is like double Salt Kirk, honestly. Blue Dream as well. Uh, that's a 10. I can buff to... F mm. So I think I should just damage here. What did he put on top? That's the scary part. If only I had um, the steely card boy. So I could go up to six, drop this down to five, deals two damage. No, that's not good enough. I'll just deal nine damage to it, right? What about this? This can strengthen or damage. Ornamental sword? Instead of pit trap? Yeah, okay. That is so bad. Oh well. We could go up to cards, I don't really mind. Yeah, okay. We can steal the Skellen. So the scary part is if he's got his own like 10, 11 point um, Imelrith, but this can kill it, which is really good. Oh my god. And before Imelrith and he loses. <laughs> Alright, I've got the Regis and Letho in this deck. <laughs> okay, so three cards up. Seems good. Wait! No! No! Okay, so we're going four cards up. That's that's not a Morg Farg, dude. Sure. Be glad to. Okay. That's Does this first? Second. Do we toss this third? I guess we could, yeah. I like winning round one. All is in place. Uh, these are the least like the metal, like they don't tell you anything. So he's got a Neskull. Is this a rematch versus the guy we played earlier? Can deal seven, I guess. Uh. 
Anything that's like super big like from this is kind of annoying to play. I could play Melane here, she's not great. This is an 11. This doesn't have a target. I guess Melane is it. Follow me this way. He needs 14 points. Like I'd much rather just him pass and I win this round, but he's probably unlikely to be able like to do that. So I just kind of have to tempo him. Kind of have to disable his ability to like play carry over while staying ahead. So I have to keep like 10 points ahead or something. Continue constantly. I guess if he never manages to catch up, I might be able to pass. It just it really sucks not having carry over. It's technically carryover, we could continue playing. None of these are great to play. I'll play this though. On, let's go. Time to face our fears. Yes, he's got a really good ass call now. That's the biggest annoyance. Oh well. Such is life. I kind of like keeping this, because it's essentially a second body for Letho Regis, but it's okay. Now he's got 19 points here. This is immediately 11 points, unless he has a way of eating it. I'll just neutral for 12. Come on, just pass my dude. I do believe this is the guy that, like, we played earlier. Where we beat him with the Guaras. The RNG Aguara. That's not enough. Nice. We actually... We could pass here, because it's really hard to continue going knowing he's got a 19 point play. But I could force myself to do so. This is fine. I know he's got... Like, I think he's got Scorch in his deck. That's kind of fine, though. Aguara Scorch still doesn't catch up. That's the biggest thing. Like, hitting Eskel is okay, I guess. One of these is fine. I know he's buffed one of his guys by three, so I'm just waiting for him to pass. One of these four cards is buffed by three, and it might be the... What's the word? Might be the ambush card. An ill wind blows. <sighs> 14 points. He can't play this because he needs 14. 15 actually because this hits. We can blue dream Askel. I'll blue dream Askel. 18 points. Slightly better than Salt Kirk here. I just want him to pass. Nice. Okay. Now, while we may have used a lot of our power cards in terms of Salt Kirk, we used one Blue Dream, we used Rhinefarn. Uh, I mean, uh, we used, yeah, card with Rhinefarn. This is still okay. 
I will not play Siri because it's worthless because he's just gonna bet him the other Makara. Okay. I'm, I'm happy he played that. He still has a card that he buffed by three in hand. So the big thing is that he can't like Peter my Regis. He can, however, Peter his own Letho. So that's uh, a bit unfortunate. The cards we drew aren't the best, but they're not the worst either. You want to pass? You gotta pay. Can't let you through elseways. It's a pretty big card. Not that big though. Thank you. Thank you. He can Peter Letho. Peter resets a unit, so. Nice, we even get to uh, weather clear here. What is the card he buffed by three? That's really the, the question I've got here. And I really want him to row stack if possible. Unlikely he'll do it, but you know, it's fine. There is a card he buffed by three there. That is the card he buffed by three. So this is 20 points. I guess I could kill the 14 right now. These dogs have no honor. I should have played this on the left side, I guess. Okay. I should have killed the nine. I think I need to do this. So he steals a nine. I get to do 40 points. Okay, I think we've won. In particular interest you? Yeah, we've won. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're looking at uh, tossing the roach here first, then this, then Nithril maybe. I will toss the Nithril, yeah. And got the death mold, that's good. And he let me win this round. That's actually really good. Fail. But I do have quite a few bricks, so it's a bit scary going into super long round. We only have one weather clear as well. We can gain card advantage here, actually, while bleeding. So as long as Siri is our last play and he doesn't have any more removal left, this is gonna be fine. The big thing is we have to like get rid of his removal. So like if this hits Nithral, it's really bad for us. Just great. No specials in his deck. Okay, good to know. I'll play this next. The thing is, he might he's most likely to use removal on just like engines here. Um just gonna As you come on. weather clear this. Actually gained points off the weather clear. We could pass here, go on equal. I'll play this card. Thank you. And if at some point he can't like you know. Maintain tempo. I'll play this. I guess this technically could enable Gigni, or sorry, renew, which isn't good for me. I think it's fair though. That's an okay card he just played. That's a good Letho Regis though. That's a very good Letho Regis though. I think I'll Blue Dream back though. But yes, if we can out-tempo him with Siri on board, uh, we kind of win the game. So I'm kind of like, do you have another mage? No, you don't. You didn't play armor there, though. Mm, random dwarf or the nine plus I think we take this. 
It's a 14. So is this Teruvial or not? Seems to be Teruvial. So it's 14, 14. So it's a draw right now. Okay, we'll play Joachim in the back row. That's fair. He's playing a lot of points. But he doesn't look... It doesn't seem as if he's got a mage. Okay, weather clear. So it doesn't seem to have like... A removal in the forms of a mage makes this a bit better for me. Vilga Forts is a is a blue dream target. If we draw blue dream, seems okay. I do still want to play this if possible, but this is fine. Oh, it's a sappers. Okay. As you command. It's slightly annoying. It's actually my very, very annoying, honestly. By the rates of Morhog. Summoning circle. I guess we didn't play around summoning circle, did we? Can we still tempo him? Yes. If we find Nausicaa Brigade with this, that's a I massive play. A bit of I wasn't that fast of a play from him. I think we pass. We're down a card in round 3 now. I wasn't expecting a summoning circle on the mage. As uh, my bad, I guess. Tossing this is... Uh, mm, I'll do it. Okay, Blue Dream Vilga is pretty strong. Blue Dream Heim is strong as well. The fact that that was his weakest play is uh, quite telling, honestly. That's a disgustingly good card. We just played 26 point gold. So what do we play here? We can summoning circle Vilga to hit this. I'm not sure how good that is. I think uh like if it hits a salt kirk, it's disgusting, obviously. But if it hits kind of anything else, it's a 12-ish card play, point play. I think Heim is better. Heim could play Savage Bear. I'm not sure I want to play that, though. I think I'd rather play a random silver from his deck. His deck seems to have good silvers. Um, Vrygrief has a longship, so that's a 14. This is 3 plus random card, which could be slightly better. This is likely to be worse. But it gives me information. I think I'll take this. I'm not afraid. That's really good. Right. This I'm was running. the best card I could have hit. Um, and we did mulligan it. So that's quite good. There's our Lethorigus. Sorry. I'm coming for you. Played the wrong card first. If he's got a Scorch right now, that's kind of annoying. But oh well. Assassination. Okay. If he's got a Scorch, that's kind of annoying, but we still win, right? Yeah. He found the Joachim from my deck with Haim. But yeah, that's not good enough. And uh, GG. Easy game, easy life. Okay. Firstly, I'll toss this card. Second of all, I'll toss this. Uh, and then I'll toss this card. Nice. That's a good hand. Now, Letho's kind of bad, but oh well. We've got a lot of engines. If we just draw Regis, I'm not sure we could lose. Just play our engines and play a long round. I don't mind playing a round one. Uh, this letter is potentially a uh, liability. It's because it doesn't really, you know. Hmm. Doesn't do anything. 
without Regis. Whereas Regis without Lighthouse still has potential points. As you command, Your Majesty. Of course. If I play this, I'm behind, so he might just pass. Uh, playing Salt Card is a bit of a meme. I could just play this and then like use Siri to win the round. I don't really mind, and then we can just dry pass in round three. I do want to overtake him. That was a really lucky port callus, honestly. You could have found like three bronzes, right? But he found death mold, the only thing that could really kill this. Does he play? There's no way you play assassin, right? Your no. Okay, that's not that bad. I shan't disappoint my king. So this doesn't catch up. This might be my next play. It might be Salt Kirk to out tempo him. You are dogs, mm. and I shall treat you as such. I really should play Salt Kirk soon, TM. But I'll play this first. Thank you. It's a strong card. Unless maybe I can... Can I catch up with this? It's 12, 16, 18. Yeah, I can, I can actually play this to catch up. I would play this over Saltkirk. He doesn't seem to have any hard removal though. So if we can like hard tempo him here, I will. Meaning I'll I will play Salt Kirk to kill this off, I think. Okay. No retreat. I guess Not I won't be killing step. this off. Oh, maybe I will be. Drops it down to six, down to five, yeah, okay. I could just pass here, I would rather not. Stand and fight, cowards! And there's still Roach in my deck. If I had done that a bit earlier, I'd have like four more points here. That's fine. He's been tempoing me quite hard. I thought this was the, the big play that really screwed me. Because I played essentially a 9 and he played massive point. Like 15. It was already ahead tempo wise because of the death mold opening. We'll go at him together. Really? We'll to Jesus. Right. If we found a way to like Come get, a heart get this a from the graveyard, that would be lovely, but we most likely won't. But he might have a Vic of Aronovis and then we'll lose. Unless he plays it next turn and then we can slave driver the Vic of Aronovis. Uh, now he's playing low tempo. That's quite good for me. That's pretty slow. You can finally catch up. Nothing like a dwarf to get you to a tight spot. I guess this enables Renew or Sigurd Rifa, so maybe I shouldn't have killed it. But I didn't want to give Peter too much value either. Since it currently doesn't really have much or any value. Ah, uh, this might be my next play. He plays carry over. I'm most likely gonna pass unless I can kill it with death mold, then I'll kill it with death mold. Nigh is the time of the white frost. Don't tell me you've got double oh. Okay, that's that's too much for me to catch up to. I mean death mold clear is a twelve? No, sixteen, right? So that's twenty. Okay, I guess I could do it. 
fairly well, easily. We can even win with... Okay, we can't win with Siri, but we can... Oh shit, we need the Salt Kirk to win. If he plays another card though, Salt Kirk might overtake. Might. Depends on what he plays. It's, it's dumb. Boon Hazard or Spell. Ignis that. That's not 23. But we can win with Siri, right? Yeah. He really doesn't want to give up round one. Uh, I mean, I can't really give up round one either. It's just bad. Could lock the skulls. Ugh. Nice. Alright, so the only question is... Can we now win the other rounds? So we might have to toss... Like, we might have to toss Letho, but then if we draw Regis, we're kind of fucked. Um, our blue dreams are really strong. But actually, no, they're not. It's just Gigni that I'm blue dreaming. That's not good. Um, do I toss this first? I will toss that first. Oof. Okay, that's a card. It's most definitely a card. I'm not sure if it's going to be good enough. Unless this finds Horn, then this would be good enough. So I'm going to have to pass and then toss Letho. Unless we top deck Regis, then, then it's fine. This is a potential win con. Can you play like a good gold and then I draw double blue dream? That's technically a good gold. What? Huh? That's an alchemy Who card you? you created. Okay. That is a good gold. So double blue dream. Telekinesis is fine. Rhinefarn is great actually. Good top decks. Appearances can be deceiving. Eh. Not not great. Lethos kind of worthless here. Wait. Oh no, we can't. Yeah, it's doomed. Never mind me. But if he doesn't have an immediate answer, I think we'll um I think what I'll do is Oh, he's played Moonlight. Okay, Moonlight doesn't do shit. Okay, so I'll do this. I'll play Kion. I'll create alchemy, and there's quite a few alchemy that are really strong here. That's not one of them, but this is fine. I was looking for Mandrake. I was thinking of uh, rune stones that could buff this. Like monster rune stone has a few ways of buffing this, or strengthening this, or doing damage to that either way. Ida kills it. Damn. Unfortunate. I guess this is exactly a 7. Okay, Letho gives me 4 plus 6 here. So I guess it's not worthless. It's not great. It's kind of bad. It's fine. If this was a blue dream, I might have like gone blue dream on this. It's fine. Ever danced with a demon in the light of the full moon? God. I'm not sure if I want to roast stack or not. I guess like playing to two rows should be good enough. 2v2 with up 8 points should be enough to win. I can do a great deal okay. Of I'll play this first. Okay, Ida for 9, unless that's Peter. Should be correct. Even versus Peter, I think I win, because this peasant militia wins. Yeah, that's not Peter either. Okay. Okay, we won. Woo! I should have taken Peasant Militia, it prevents me from, uh, I, it prevents me from misclicking. Okay, again, toss the Roach first. Toss the second, it's just kind of weak. 
and then toss this because we want it in the other deck, right? Maybe not. Maybe we can keep. Maybe we toss this. Maybe we toss this. Got the Rhine Farm. I was, I was afraid of like drawing um, Death Mold. So this only has Death Mold as a target. So we could play this because it's carryover, but we could also just play the 9. We can toss the 9 away. I can wait on this while it has a higher chance of hitting one of my good cards. So now we can open with this. So, Roach, Death Mold, Hohim, all dead cards, we don't want them. But we can always toss one of them later on. Okay, I think we keep this. I think this is a good hand. We've pretty much got everything we want. So I'm gonna open with this, then we'll tell them we have... Yeah, then we'll... Vatia, 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 Vatia. We, we can just tempo him, right? Yeah, it's fine. Get to work. It's annoying. Blood of the head. Do the seven damage. We've enabled Blue Dream now. So Kra whatever Krach pulls is most likely gonna just get Blue Dreamed immediately. But I, I kind of want to save this card. I mean, I don't want to save this card. I kind of want to not save this card either. I don't know. Blue Dream is a good card, you know? Like, I don't want to use it here if I can afford not to. Oh, Kahir. Do we have a way of weakening this? I don't think we do. It's unfortunate. moment I've seen it already death mold that we've heard enough let's get to work onward right head we could just do owe him his cahir is dead if we find a way to kill this. I mean, I guess we can kill this like this. That's fair. So we can ask all this and then play this. Uh, I don't want to play this yet, though. I want to play this on this first. Rumors travel faster than the wind. Poet. Mm, Krach will pull something we can ask all later. We can always ask all Dandelion Poet as well. It's a really good card to... Blue Dream. Honestly. That's assuming we've played this already. It's a seven point poet. Yeah, that's quite good. Of course, he gets this card. I think we Blue Dream that. There's nothing here that will, um, there's no soldier that will buff this. A 9 is pretty big, but I think we can kill it. I mean, we kill it for sure. It just, uh, we go down to 4 plus 2 instead of 5 plus 2. So this can do 2 damage to it. Doesn't kill it. Let's have other ways of killing it. Uh, Morana Runestone can strengthen it by 7. This could buff it, depending on what he's got. This can strength, like, buff it by 1, depending on what we draw. So, it really depends on what he plays here. He plays something big, I think we play this, because either we can strengthen it, or we can damage it with, like, a Bran or an Ida, and that's fair. Um, Shoop most likely isn't big enough. Unless it's like a hun hunter. Unless he goes for mage and he deals 5-5 five, five or something. Or 10-5-5, five, five, yeah. That works. Hunter most likely doesn't do it. So it's an 8. 
Uh, I kind of want to play this. There's no dwarf in our deck. There's no SD card we've done. Okay, so we can just do this. We take one damage, but it heals back up to like it heals back up to full. So that's really good for us. And I just want to avoid killing the Krach because I don't want to enable that if possible. And we still have one way of doing that. You know, we still have this as a potential you know, way to stop that. I don't see like I guess a ghoul would be really good for him. So I'm not sure why he hasn't done that yet. Because Ghoul is like 18 points, and we don't have a Peter or anything like that, unfortunately. It's a villain threat in Mirth. So we could go back to equal cards. I'm not sure I want to do that. Can I just like play this? How can I help? Fuck. Oh well. 21 points. The thing is, I'd really like to just 2-0 him here, but I don't think I can. What does he have left? So he can't actually play this and, you know, have it survive. And he can't play any big unit here. He can't play anything above an 8. He risks dying. Pretty much any card we draw other than Letho, I think we, we keep. But if we then draw Joachim, we lose. Ugh. Nasty. What's he gonna play? He needs to play more than 14, because like this is equal right now. Wow. Wow, did I just win the game? Did, did villain just fuck him? Because he, he can't play a big enough unit without- Like, he has to damage my my stuff, right? He has to play a 5, like, I don't know, a 6 DL7? Because this doesn't do it. This is a Barbagazi, right? Oh, Barbagazi on that? But yeah, that's still not enough. Okay, you've got carryover, that's true. But you're down a card. And you're playing second. Letho Regis would be neat, I guess. No, it wouldn't be, because we can't guarantee both. Blue Dream? Is Blue Dream best card? Blue Dream best card, dude. Oh, Siri is bad card. Tossing Siri is so risky. Okay, not punished. Never punished. Guess Barbagazi on that was good, yeah. So play Savage Bear first, or no, I guess we play this first, right? It's a 13, sure. Now we will see who is weak. Now so I've got a, a 12 and 11, like a 10. Uh, this, this might still be a loss depending on what he gets here. Because even though we're off cards, that's a really strong card and that's still 14 points of carryover. 14 points of carryover is better than one of my cards, though this is only 16. So I might still win? I don't know. Nope, that's a loss. That's a loss! Fuck, too much carryover. Even though up a card, you know, I'm up a card, carryover's too big. Telekinesis having no specials to play sucks. No bronze specials, I should say. 50 points? Can I do 50 points? Most likely not. Especially not with this card. This into Joanna? Hmm. Wouldn't be enough still. EG. Right? Yeah. Peace with humans, a bythos. Hmm. So, what was the mistake? Maybe playing telekinesis was the mistake. Okay. Final, final boss. Never like to see this. 
I never like to see this. All is in place. Should have yolo drawn to yeah maybe because I knew he had that here through. So here we're gonna toss the Nithral. Okay. So he knows I've got these two cards here. Which means he's very likely to lock them. Give us all you got. Like he's very likely to play Red of it here. But he also has to be suspicious that if I play double engine here, I might have something better. Hmm. Still gonna play right into it, okay. So I don't wanna play Siri right yet. Right, just yet. Jesus. Right yet? What the heck does that mean? I didn't need to kind of tempo him, so playing 9 points is bad. But I'm also bleeding with bad cards, technically. Uh, Slave Driver should be played soon. What? We've got the Letho. Okay, I'll just play 7 damage on that. Nothing like a dwarf to get you to spot. We can play Emilris Sabath here. I'd prefer not to just yet, but we could. He hasn't played a gold yet either, so I'd rather, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm I'm using Sabath as bait for removal because I've got Siri and Siri kind of secures card advantage and that might be better. Uh, having like both Siri and Letho as cards I want to play isn't great though. Carry over. You can drop that down to a lot. We can even Letho Regis, like we can even Letho it maybe. We don't have a... yeah. Wow. That's unfortunate. This would have been a really good card to play. To buff... Um, Sabath. I guess I've nev never expect Ambassador, you know? Okay, so can't play this yet. You can play this card. Doesn't have anything above a six. Okay, that's Hunter. Uh, it's a big card. There's not much I can do about it. I don't think I can find a reset here. Pauko. With that ornamental sword. With that hunter. Hunter hitting this down to 10. Still not good enough. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. It was the most tempo, but it's fine. He might kill the whale here. Which means I played a 17. Because this takes 5 damage that would be used yeah, elsewhere. And we actually out-tempoed him. I can play this, and if he doesn't... Like, unless he's got Salt Kirk as a way to kill it. If he's only got a Mage, we're fine. Because Mage is exactly 10. So unless he's got a Gold that can kill this. Like a Salt Kirk. Well then, let's get to work. Okay. We we're still, you know, gaining equal cards here. This is still okay. Our Blue Dream is a bit dead, though. That's my biggest annoyance, is that Blue Dream is not in a good spot. Oh. Blade Ambassador. It's an amba Wait, why would he not... What? Why would he not... Okay, why would he not go for five more carry over there? Uh... I'm... I'm Interesting. Really now. I 
Again, if he plays anything super big, we can... Barbarians. It's not that good. Because we can, like, Regis if he plays anything that gets, like, super boosted. And usually, really tall units are boosted. Shani Death Mold, most likely. Yeah. Can't Blue Dream anything right now. We might lose. We might just lose. I think we've lost. I don't see how, unless he's got a Tibber. I don't see how we win. Drink this, you'll feel better. Yeah, because we can't kill that card. We should have kept Letho to enable Blue Dream. Really should have. Your will guide us. We really should have. Should have should have maybe tossed the brigade, I guess. But he just doesn't do shit. Maybe we pass too early. No, we couldn't continue playing. Tibber? If it's a Tibber, we have a shot. Blue Dream, Shero. So if we had played this first, we might have won. But I had played this instead of Blue Dream first. I would have still lost because it wasn't enough. Unlucky. Gotta show the rewards, you know.